Hello, grounded guys and gals, and are you ready for a grounded quickie? Ew. I am too, so let's get started. So we are going to be looking at the infected mounts and if they actually add damage to infected creatures. So if you touch an infected mount, it doesn't matter which one, you have a nice little tip here. It says infected damage, increased damage dealt against infected creatures. Doesn't specify, but on the crafting menu here. So for example, we have the uh, infected ladybug mount. Activate to increase a temporary damage bonus against this creature. They all, I believe, say that. This creature, same thing. Every one of them says this creature, not every creature. But of course, on the actual tooltip down here, it says infected creatures. So let's go in there and test it to see if that if it does give bonus damage against infected creatures, all of them, or if you have to just build this big one. We're gonna go in there with, well, we're not gonna, we're on a creative world, so we're not gonna take damage. We're no buffs except for this little guy down here. Uh, Tonel Shkimatar, uh, no mutations, nothing on. So let's jump in and see what kind of damage it will do. Okay, we're back here. I did actually put Natural Explorer on and Aphid Slippers just to make me move faster. I don't think that's going to impact anything. So let's see if, of course, this infected damage buff, mind you, this is against all infected creatures based on that ladybug, will actually do anything against the infected broodmother here. So I don't know if there's a native amount you can crit. We're not going to try to crit, hopefully. Um, I'll keep an eye out for that and we'll do a couple of hits here. So, of course, it's not going to do damage to me. One, two, three. Okay, so that does almost a bar. Okay. So that's for nine hits, effectively. Well, let's go back and do just a passive creature buff and see if that is any different. Okay, so I've put on the passive creature damage buff. And so this will hopefully be a baseline test of will it add anything or not. Come on down, big girl. Yes, I know. Bar, rah, rah, rah. Okay. Well, uh, well, I might have gotten a little bit hit off on it. Miss. Okay, it looks like about the same. Okay. One, two, three. It looks like just about the same. Okay, we just added the infected broodmother's buff on. This one should actually add damage. All right, come on down. Okay, that one actually did a full bar. Okay, now we're doing full bars of damage. Before it looked like we're doing about three quarters of a bar, now we're doing a full bar of damage. So, which is about in, right, in line with what you're supposed to get. So, unfortunately, it looks like you have to make the infected brood mount in order to get that bonus damage on her, which makes sense. I don't know why they would program it so all infected mounts would do bonus damage against all infected creatures. They really need to fix that tooltip. Uh, it was. They're not going to give it to us that easy, unfortunately. Uh, but if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit me with that like. And if you want to see more, hit me with that subscribe. Until the next one, I've been Travis. Bye.